This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. Okay, this story has something of a big brother aspect to it. General Motors has been collecting info on how people drive their cars and selling that data to a company called LexisNexis, which in turn has been selling that data to insurance companies. And now GM is getting sued because a Cadillac owner saw his insurance rates double based on the data that GM sold. He calls it an invasion of privacy. Turns out that GM OnStar can, con- can collect info on how fast a car accelerates, how hard it brakes, and whether or not it's speeding. And insurance companies love to get that data to determine what to charge customers to insure their cars. GM is not the only automaker that does this, and LexisNexis and another company called Verisk say they have data on millions of cars. That Cadillac customer, a guy named Romeo Chico who lives in Florida, claims he never signed up for OnStar or another program called Smart Driver that provides feedback to car owners on how they drive. And so he's suing General Motors. The New York Times quotes a Georgetown law professor who says this will trigger an FTC investigation as well as more lawsuits. Quote, just wait for the avalanche, he said. It's coming. Ford and its dealers in the U.S. have a trust problem, as in the dealers don't trust where the company is going, especially when it comes to electric cars and quality problems. So Automotive News reports that Ford CEO Jim Farley will be visiting dealers across the country over the next couple of months. In fact, he's taking most of Ford's top leadership with him, and they're there to listen, not to make presentations. But Ford definitely has quality problems. Check out the video that we did that looks at warranty and recall costs, which shows that Ford's warranty costs come to $1,000 for every vehicle that it sells. That is substantially higher than Tesla, General Motors, and Stellantis. Mercedes-AMG is developing its first ever dedicated EV platform and just finished up winter testing in Sweden. Right now, the details are light. We can tell you the car here hints at the future design and that it will have a new high-performance, high-voltage battery as well as a power unit that's based on axial flux motor technology which it claims has a, quote, unparalleled mix of power density, size, and weight. Hopefully, we'll learn more soon. Volkswagen is making the push to launch more affordable EVs in Europe. First will come the ID2 in 2026 with a starting price under 25,000 euros. It rides on a modified front-wheel drive-based version of the MEB platform, which should also spawn an SUV variant and provide up to 450 kilometers or about 280 miles of range. Brand CEO Thomas Schaefer says a less expensive model it calls the ID1 will come out a year later in 2027 and have a starting price around 20,000 euros. However, he says it's extremely economically challenging to figure out where to build the car and the only way to hit its price goal is to mass produce it because of the battery costs. So, it doesn't sound like it will be easy to pull off. Over in the US, VW is going in a bit of the opposite direction and announced it's going to come out with a new, larger electric SUV. But it is offering lease discounts of up to $13,000 on certain versions of the ID4 as well. Autonomous vehicle startup Zooks got the go-ahead to expand its robo-taxi service in Las Vegas. Last year, it started offering rides in its purpose-built shuttles with no manual controls on public roads in Foster City, California and Las Vegas. And now it's expanding the geofenced area where it operates in Vegas. That will include driving on three-lane roads, which is more complicated because of the need for lane changes, and it will also have to handle double right and left hand turn lanes. In both cities, it's now allowing the shuttles to travel up to 45 miles an hour in light rain and at night, compared to only 35 miles an hour before. Even so, the shuttles are capable of driving at speeds up to 75 miles an hour. Keeping your heart racing in and out of the gym, that's what really matters. Bridgestone Potenza Sport AS tires. 
with a 50,000 mile limited warranty. Developing EVs isn't easy and it costs a ton of money. So Honda and Nissan are exploring ways to collaborate. They're studying partnering in automotive software platforms, core components related to EVs, and other complementary products. Late last year, Honda scrapped plans to make more affordable EVs with GM and said each would search for a solution on their own. But Honda must have decided that doing it alone wasn't all that great of an idea. Chinese automaker NIO is making its battery subscription service more competitive by offering lower prices and new incentives. Specifically, it's lowering the cost of leasing a battery, what NIO calls battery as a service. A subscription for a standard range battery is now just $101 a month or $35 cheaper than before. And a long range battery is now $156 a month or $77 cheaper. NEO is also now allowing both old and new customers to use the rent they've already paid to offset the cost of purchasing the battery outright. And it's offering incentives for 60 free battery swaps. NEO launched the battery subscription service in 2020, and it has over 100,000 users. And speaking of NEO, it formed a partnership with battery maker CATL to develop batteries with a longer life. Currently in China, the standard warranty for batteries in new energy vehicles, or NEVs, is about eight years. Between 2025 and 2032, it's estimated that 20 million NEV batteries will expire. NEO and CATL want to develop longer life batteries to avoid the higher costs of replacing a battery and get them closer to having the same lifespan as the vehicle. NEO currently uses a battery management system to measure the temperature, usage, and frequency of the battery, which it says helps its batteries retain 80% of their charge after 12 years of use. Bentley has always used materials like metal, wood, and leather, but in the future it says light will play a much more significant role in its designs. And today it's showing off a new dynamic puddle light that's available on the Bator. It uses DLP technology that's usually found in headlights and head-up displays to project the profile of the car on the ground along with an animation that looks like it's twinkling in the light. And I do find it somewhat funny that in order to clearly see the animation of the Batur twinkling in the light, it has to be dark. People who live in apartments and condos can't charge an EV at home, so they don't buy electric cars, right? That's what everyone thinks, but we had Casey Boyce on Autoline After Hours yesterday who works for a company called Escalant that does really good consumer research, and he completely debunked the idea that people in apartments don't buy EVs. As a, and this is by percentage, not total number, but there are more uh, EV owners as a percentage of people in multifamily and more EV intenders in that live in multifamily. So you're saying people in apartment buildings and, and things like today, that, which is the greater today, percentage of Which them. is exactly the opposite is what we thought. Casey Boyce also talks about PHEVs, hybrids, electric pickups, and a whole range of EV issues. And you can watch that show on the AutoLine website or on our YouTube channel. But that brings us to the end of today's show. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope that you have a great weekend. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, solutions for your journey, and by Intrepid Control Systems, over the air engineering, boost your game. We want to know what drives your testing. OTA, connected car, diagnostics, remote testing. Intrepid Control Systems is here to help you work from anywhere. Intrepid Control Systems, driven by your data. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.